Eventually they all reveal themselves, don't they? They start off grumbling about climate change, telling us to recycle, then it's a climate crisis and we need to install a heat pump in our home and buy an electric car and hand over a big chunk of our paycheck as green taxes. Money that disappears quickly into the hard left begging bowl distributed amongst unhinged bleeding heart activists to fund their society eroding non-jobs. Next thing you know, they're telling us we're on the brink of planetary destruction and we need to knock civilization down to its foundations and start again. It comes as absolutely no surprise that at a PR event to peddle her new book, Greta delivered a speech letting us all know that it was time to smash capitalism. She's pulled off the hard left's best magic trick, making money out of lecturing the rest of us about how bad it is to make money. At her book launch in London, she kindly let us all know that we live in an extreme system built on the exploitation of people and the planet. A system defined by imperialism, colonialism, oppression, and genocide to accumulate wealth. She is of course just a typical middle class 19 year old girl solemnly vomiting up the undergraduate syllabus of every third tier university in the west with absolutely not the slightest trace of self-awareness. Her message in a nutshell, smash capitalism and buy my new book, available on Amazon and all good retail outlets, thousands of copies printed so far, many trees have died. Well, I mean the reality of the very imperfect capitalist systems we inhabit is that they've allowed life expectancy to rise dramatically. They create the opportunities for people to earn a living, to feed themselves and their families, to keep a roof over their heads and access health care, rather than just starve, get sick and die in a gutter. But hey, none of that matters because, you know, carbon emissions and racism. Interviewed by BBC journalist Samira Ahmed in what was a full-on communist circle jerk, Greta went on to say, Fascist movements offering easy false solutions and scapegoats to complex problems are growing and becoming more normalised. Because that's all the majority are to these hard left extremists hiding behind a palatable veneer of climate concerns. The majority of us that work hard to provide for our families are Nazis to these people. That's the sort of contempt they hold us in. That's the hatred they harbour for us all. And yet their poison and vitriol is incredibly well funded out of our pockets. We're taxed to the hilt to prop up these damaged people's delusions.